What up, yo? It's T Biz in the house once again, and I've got some more Mythic Legions. I got these off of BBTS not too long ago, Big Bad Toy Store. Um, yeah. We've got the Vampire Legion Builder and the Orc Legion Builder, both female characters. No little bio or to read or to fumble over, so that's going to be awesome. All we got to do is just open them up, check them out. Choo choo! And here we go, folks, our ladies of the late afternoon. We've got the female orc and the vampire legion builder, female knight. Because, hey, they can vote, they can drive cars, and heck, why not? We can all just die on the battlefield as well. Why not? Anyways, all jokes aside, man, we'll start off with the female vampire uh, legion builder. She comes with a lot of stuff, this cool little feathery, purple feathery headdress thing. That can, uh, just like, but just a bunch of feathers. This little plume thing can go on the back of her helmet. Uh, she's got her shield. Should have said some assembly required. Just a plain shield. Nothing going on there. So for customizers, you could totally paint this up. Maybe put, like, what would be cool to do also, and just clip that on, put a blood splatter on there. That would be, that would make more sense. Generic spear. But the thing about Four Horsemen is their generic spears are, pretty cool either way even if you'll see it once or twice or whatever again she's got these cool sickle type things it's not a like a scimitar and it's not a sword but it's not a sickle i don't know what it is but still a devastating weapon you could just shred through some fools with this man that's crazy uh she has some pauldrons to attach and another helmet which there is no face within this helmet. So once again, if you're into customizing, you could do maybe paint some white in between those lines. If you could, that'd be really fine. If you could possibly pull it off, which would, uh, yeah, and there's the ears and stuff. But yeah, that would be really cool. If somebody could pull that off. I don't know if I could. Once again, you get that generic wing attachment thing that goes in the back. And this thing for, I forget what you use this for, but they all come with one. She's got a spike instead of, uh, I guess, instead of putting the plume thing on her helmet, you can just put a spike on there. Which, I guess that's okay. I don't know. We'll, we'll see. We'll just check both. Ah, we'll leave that on her. That, that's cool. That's more uh, Rage Shadow Legendy. Is, I should say. And um, yeah, that's pretty much all her weapons and stuff. She's got a decent generic shield, which, like I said, once again, their generic weapons are pretty awesome. And you got a little belt. Just a plain little belt to put on them. And uh, yeah, so there you go for her. And next up is the female orc. I, I love orcs. Uh, one of my favorite characters, well, not one of my top characters on Raid Shadow Legends, but one of my favorite characters is Zargala, as far as looks and... Um, go and stuff like that and this is more like zargala's little sister once again they've got these figures got awesome articulation as always if you're uh if you're in the know you know what everything they can do if you've been born under a rock then maybe not or live under a rock maybe not so but yeah just always really good stuff with the articulation really good no double knees and stuff like that but they can uh Get a good spread on the legs, so that's really cool. <laughs> that is really awesome. And uh, you get, yeah, a good waist twist right there and diaphragm twist, all that stuff. But once again, this some stuff you might want to super glue on, like this right here. This little front skirt thing, loincloth, whatever you want to call it. Whoop. You just got to peg it back in like so, or you might just want to get some super glue and... Um, just super glue them in so they just stay that way. But uh, yeah, just really always super good articulation. And um, got off track here. But yeah, with the weapons, once again, generic uh, spear. But what I like about this spear is there's a lot of dirt and dust on it. Might be hard to see in my light, but yeah, there's some dirt and dust just kind of painted on there like a wash. She's got her... Guess like uh, some Terrence Trent Darby locks or braids. I don't know. 
another belt sword with uh with actually some browns in there like that just kind of dirt and dust on there which is cool i like that and generic axe with i haven't bought a figure with the axe in a while and this does come out but i thought they did anyways i'm not gonna worry about it but yeah some of this stuff you can take off or whatever on pegs but anyways i've seen it here and over there but once again the cool wash which i like is awesome she only has one pauldron because she's trying to show off that sexy shoulder on her left let's see you got the wing attachments and all that she came with two on this one which is kind of weird one's a little wider holes smaller holes and i think i ordered some of the weird skeleton wings for uh one of my skeleton guys and plus they had the um they actually have a sale going on today which is all the all-star stuff and the buy-in for the next all-stars wave which is going to be cool which will feature more motu homages um with uh i think they're doing an homage to stinkor and uh moss man which would be awesome really awesome well, now i'm going to shut up and we're going to get these figures uh, put together and also you want to be careful with the belts because i've never broken a belt but i did today and these are easy to come by actually um but yeah you can break these belts so i accidentally snapped that belt which is whatever i'll live <laughs> but you're they're also you're supposed to be able to take them apart too stuff like that in certain areas so yeah but let, let's go ahead and still try to get her geared up and here we go folks i got these little ladies posed up ready to do battle i'm such a big dummy i didn't realize that you can actually put her sickle sword things together to make a big old darth maul um yeah kind of uh i forget who else had a double saber and uh somebody else uh was it bastilla shan or somebody anyways one of these cool nifty long saber things or like a dark side ray which whatever and um anyways but yeah that's that's cool man i uh, really always gonna say it because who doesn't love mythic legions and once again you can pose the crap out of these these are legion builders so usually they're a little bit cheaper but the markup on bbts yes is a little bit more expensive like my brother aj pointed out which yes it is a little bit more expensive but if you can't find them anywhere else you know you can really find usually a good amount at bbts unless they sell out i don't know if these are still available but go check them out because they might actually have these figures still and yeah they're cool and yeah they just you can pose the crap out of them and once again if you know for customization the, the four horsemen this is where they get you because we're, they're like well we've got a lot of detail in the sculpt but not a lot of paint on a legion builder which legion builders are typically i think a lot cheaper too and um when they go on their website or whatever when you when they're doing a sale when they have these figures and uh, yeah you could army build these guys buy a couple if not a few and do some custom paints and um yeah just get that going and definitely um because you could have different heads obviously and just just give them different paint jobs and just build an army which is rad and yeah it's just totally totally awesome cool anyways thanks for watching y'all that's a little look at these two the orc female legion builder and the female knight legion builder from mythic legions yeah man i'll leave uh links to go to their usual places of business with uh mythiclegions.com sourcehorseman.com and storehorseman.com anyways thanks for watching y'all and have a good one all right later